conversation with Megan Huntsman, Huntsman, the mom who um, says meth addiction is the, to blame for killing six newborns. And right. I agree with you guys, what you were saying on the show, it can't just be that. Yeah, I, I, I've, I'm familiar with it. You know, I'm, I'm really good friends with a lot of people that have suffered from addiction, and I can't imagine any of them acting violent, nor have they ever had a well, history no, of acting no, no, violent. No, hold on. Well, people Well, this is addiction. like serial killer status, Dr. Drew. Exactly. Six babies, and then keeping the babies That's, like it, tokens in the it, basement, it, like it, trophies. Like, addicts notoriously are violent and aggressive and can't contain their impulses, but they don't systematically mm -hmm. stuff yeah. dead babies into boxes. We have never heard of this, so it yeah. can't just be drug addiction, because there would be some kind of you know, precursor. Like we have Some seen, sort of pattern of yes, yeah. we have seen this somewhere right, else. Like, right. but what else could it be? Like, I, I well, think we need to look into this husband much more. I that totally much agree. more. Yeah. And why not condom guys? Why not use a condom? Well, they sterilize babies. someone like her, please. Huh? I was saying, I wasn't in that. Uh, blog, but I was screaming. I was like, "They're drug addicts. They use drugs. They're not worried about condoms." Well, like, but, I mean, but you, but you would think at least that the, that they had a consciousness of the fact that they would have a baby and have to kill it. That they might yeah. do a little bit, a little bit of something. I mean, if you're so out of it that you're killing people, yeah. yeah I mean, first of all, you wouldn't have you wouldn't have all that planning and, and cleanup. You're just sort of not in this world, even. It, it, there's no priority. But the, you, you could get into that kind of state and be that way for. From meth, not from opiates. From meth, you could be that way for months, but not years. And how, yeah. how is, go ahead, sorry. Oh, no, I just say, if you're in that state, how are you consciously hiding that's, your that's pregnancy the, right. that's, the whole time? Oh, yeah, and then you're one of the three kids, you, and not, three kids make it through. I it's, know. Uh, and then you're raising these three yeah. kids. Like, they're still in the house. You're you're conscious enough to raise these kids, and I'm right. assuming be a decent enough mother to right. not. And Although they all CPS fled. They got, they got the hell away from well, you. Well, they have to know something. One of the kids is 20 years old now. They have to have smelled something. They had to have seen something. Yeah, maybe it was never talked about, but right. I hope they're well, thoroughly the, being investigated. And, and, Everybody, the husband, right. all of them. And the lieutenant we spoke to said it's an ongoing Good. thing. Yeah. So, yeah. So. All right, well, uh, definitely, we're probably going to definitely follow this story more and more, but we want to know if you think the husband has something more to do with this. Mm -hmm. Good job. Mm -hmm.